everyone, I'm Madeline, also known as Knitting House Square on Instagram and Knitting House SQ on Ravelry, and I'm a Philadelphia-based knitter. And this is the second, kind of third installment of my Trying New Yarn series. So the first video I did was Veil by Brooklyn Tweed, and I knit the Gully Cow. I'll link all these videos below too if you want to check them out. The second one I did was for Barrett Woolco. Um, yeah, that's the brand. Um, so I used their Wisconsin Woolen Spun, which is what I have left over, and I knit this little hat right here, which I think is super cute, and I was very happy with this yarn. So now I am here for my third installment, and this one is also a very new brand to me. I don't think I'd even heard of it until about a month ago. So the my package has arrived in the mail. Here it is. Um, still sealed so I'm very excited to open it and I just got it like a couple hours ago out of the mailbox and how I heard about this was actually it was featured in the Lane magazine that I talked about getting in my podcast a little while back so they have a section called Lane favorites and this was the favorite yarn that they listed on here so you can see the yarn down there so this brand is called Stonewall and it's a Cormo yarn, it says on here. So of course I went on the website because if it's mentioned in this gorgeous book as the favorite, then I wanted to try it out. And so I ordered some yarn. So when I went to the website listed in the book, it actually then took me to the Twig and Horn website. And then when this just arrived in the mail, it was shipped by Quince & Co. So quite a few transitions through yarn companies. But yeah, so let's just dig in real quick and see what the yarn looks like, and then I'll talk about the pattern that goes with it. Sorry about any crinkling. Unavoidable. So I just have my packing slip, and then this is how it arrives in the mail. So it's cute, it's like they took I don't know if it's a bag yet or if it's just tissue paper, but they made it look like a, an envelope with some yarn in it. And then, uh, yeah, here's a Quince & Co ad for Willet, which is a cotton yarn. So that's pretty cool. I haven't knit with cotton yarn in quite a long time, so maybe that'll help if you want to try. Is it opening? Okay, so it was a bag this up now. Here is the yarn. So again, I'm having trouble where my labels keep on popping off of yarn in the mail. But this is the color I got. The color is Osage. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I'll type it down below. <laughs> and this is Dye Lot 001, so the first Dye Lot. And okay, so it's a collaboration yarn with Twig and Horn. So it it's just called Stone Wool, and it's 100% American Cormo. The yarn has a really nice texture. Like, I can already tell just from holding this yarn. If you look at the definition of the twist in there, that it, this is going to look really nice with cables. So I am really excited to try this now. Um, so it's worsted weight. You get 200 yards per skein, 5 stitches per inch on a US 6, or for 4.5 stitches per inch on a US 8. And you have to hand wash, lay fat, flat to dry. This yarn was spun in Wyoming. So this is the color I got. I actually picked this color because I love the way that orangish yarns or orange with red tones shows up with cables. I think it just gives such nice cable definition. And to try out this yarn, of course I picked out a cable pattern. Um, so for my, the first installment of the series, I did the cowl, then I did a hat. So I had to pick another accessory for this one. So this is what I went with. They are cable mittens, and there is the name of the pattern. They're twisted stitch cable mittens, and this is a pattern by Whitney Hayward. It's called the Ossify Mitts. So this um, this yarn is sold with this pattern as a kit on their website. I just didn't order the full kit because it came with double pointed needles. And personally, I prefer to just knit my mittens with Magic Loop two at a time, or not two at a time, I'll probably knit this one at a time, but Magic Loop. So the first thing I'm going to do is wind up this yarn 
see how I like it, and of course cast on, so I'm very excited. I'll be back in a bit. Hello, so I'm back again for a quick update. This is my first mitten so far. So I've done the full mitten, except the thumb. And now I am starting off on the second one. And I am in love with this yarn. It is so nice. It may be too early to say, but it could be my favorite yarn. I am getting a little nervous though that I'm gonna run out before I finish this mitten because they're the it started out quite larger than this. And I've been going through it pretty quickly. Sorry about the honking in the background if you can hear that. But this color makes the cables turn out amazing. You can just see the stitch definition in there. Gorgeous. And the fit, this is my left hand mitten. It's, it's like perfect. I still have to weave in all my ends, so just ignore that little section down there. But it's so nice. I am very excited to see how these black out. So I'll be back again probably in a couple days with the finished product. Hey everyone, so I'm back with the finished product and they are so cute. I'm so excited to wear these this winter. These are the mittens. So here's one. And then the second one. And this cable pattern in this yarn is amazing. I can't say enough great things about this. So there's the cable pattern on the one side and then the other side is stockinette stitch. And then also the one other great detail about these mittens is that you get this cool thumb detail as well. So it's like part of the thumb has these pearl stitches on it. And I just think they look so nice. This yarn, I was saying before that this one might be my new favorite. It is it's been decided. I want to get some more, maybe try a sweater or something like that, but I just have too many other yarns to try first. So we'll see. I tend to switch around favorites a lot with yarn too, so <laughs> there's always something new. But yes, these are the mittens. They fit perfectly. The only modification I made to the whole pattern was what I said previously, which was where I did, which me moving my hands this whole video, um, where I did size sevens instead of the recommended US eights. That was the only change I made. Knitted for the exact length it gave, which is a great length. And there was one place where I made a mistake in the mittens, but I honestly don't even think I'll be able to find it now because this, this pattern hides it very well. So like, I think it was something like over here, you know, over here on one side, there were extra purl stitches, but then I missed them on this side. But that doesn't matter. No one would ever know. I can't even find it now. So <laughs> works out well. And this is how much yarn I left over. I was starting to get concerned, like I said before, that I was going to run out. But there is, I was fine. You might get a little closer to running out if you do it on a slightly larger needle size, but I think it'll be all right. I'm sure it's all right. People have knit this pattern. But yes, this yarn, five out of five stars. Love it. It did turn out really nice after blocking. These are after blocking. Didn't take long to dry it off. It feels really warm. I just had to take them off because it's, it's pretty toasty out right now. Not too hot as it's been, but can't be wearing mittens inside. <laughs> but yes, I'm so excited with how these turned out. So cute. And I think they'll match my winter jacket too. Sorry, I thought my camera just cut out, but it didn't. Okay, so that is stone wool and these were the ossify mitts sorry i don't have a nicer picture but i'm sure there's been a picture in this video so far of what they looked like so check out next time i'll be doing another yarn and here is the sneak preview that's what i'll give away wool in the gang so i will see everyone in my next video see ya